Tonight, the effort to recall L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon is heating up. Critics accuse the D.A. of being soft on crime. Today, one of Gascon's most vocal critics, Deputy D.A. Jonathan Hatami, tweeted, Under George Gascon, if you are 16 or 17 years old and you commit a DUI in Los Angeles, we don't file anything anymore. We don't file any juvenile misdemeanors anymore at all. And because of that, we don't directly provide services. Under Gascon, no public safety, no services equal reform. Well, Mr. Hatami has prosecuted some high-profile cases cases in LA County. And he joins us now live to talk about this teen DUI issue and the recall. Hi, Mr. Tommy. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, so let's talk about the uh, consequences right now for teen DUI drivers. As we spoke earlier, what does what actually happens now when we don't have uh, the situation we had before? Here's what's going to happen, Tom, and it's important for a lot of people to know. Um, if you're 17 and you're drinking and driving and you get pulled over for a DUI, under George Gascon's policy, we're not going to charge you with a DUI. That means that you're not gonna get any court ordered programs. You're not gonna get any court monitoring. Um, there's gonna be no charge. And really the message that sends to 17 year olds is you could drink and drive and under George Gascon, you're not gonna get in trouble. And so what's going to happen, Tom, is you're going to have kids who think they're not going to get in trouble for drinking and driving. They're not going to be provided with any programs. And the next time they could kill somebody or they could kill themselves. And I, I think that, that that's not a reform. I don't think anybody wants anything like that. And here's the thing. George Gascon says that he wants to protect kids and he cares about kids. Well, if George Gascon really wants to protect kids, if he really wants to do that, then sometimes what you have to do is protect kids from themselves. And as a parent, I know that, and all parents know that. And George Gascon has really failed in this. Uh, what is essentially the consequence right now? Is it essentially you know losing your license potentially? Uh, because right now, like as you said, if, if you're not prosecuting that, th is there anything that happens? So through the, D, through the DMV, there could be some things that may happen to a juvenile, but there's going to be no type of actual punishment, and there's going to be no programs. So if, if juveniles really have alcohol issues or alcohol problems, we should be able to provide them with programs through the court. The court should be able to monitor that. And if you can't complete those pro programs, then there should be some sort of punishment. And so there's going to be nothing like that. Obviously, the DMV has their side, and they deal with licensing right. and whatnot. But what happens is, is you're basically telling a 16 or 17 year old, if you drink and drive, you're just not gonna get in trouble. And you know, that's really, that's really not what a prosecutor should do. What, what needs to be known, Tom, is that I've worked in juvenile court, I've worked in adult court. I don't think any reasonable or experienced prosecutor would issue blanket policies. But George Gascon has no experience. He has no experience in adult court. He has no experience in juvenile court. He has no experience in any court. And so that's really what the problem is here. Uh, is in terms of the no bail, we talked about this earlier last week on a different story. There is a statewide no bail uh, policy in effect, but you you told me last week that the interesting distinction here is though, if you have direction from your county DA, you could go in depending on what crime it is, robbery, a violent crime, and you could still, if you under the direction of the DA, ask for bail. 100%. So here's the thing. The state has a zero bail. But George Gascon has also doubled down on that zero bail. He has a zero bail policy. So on child abuse case, on a domestic violence case, even on a sex trafficking of a minor without force, George Gascon is presumptive zero bail. Now any good and rational DA would send their DAs into court and do a bail deviation. You file a motion, you go into court, you argue before the judge if somebody has a prior record or is dangerous to society or is dangerous to the public, and say, you know, Your Honor, um, the bail needs to be increased on this individual because they're dangerous to society, they're dangerous to the public, and they're dangerous to the victim. It's a very easy motion, it happens all the time, and judges are the ones who make the final decision regarding bail. What, what's happening now is individuals are being arrested for smash and grab burglaries, for, for robberies, for follow home robberies, for train robberies, and they're just being released within hours, and it's really demoralizing to the police and what it's doing is causing more crime for society and making it more dangerous for all of us. Thank you so much, Mr. Hatami. We have to leave it there, and I really appreciate your time and perspective. And we did reach out to DA Gascon's office for a response to the tweet earlier today and the comments on that, but we did not hear back. All right, coming up in sports.